Let's begin in banking. The Cooperative Bank of Kenya has dethroned the Equity Bank to become the second leading bank in market share in the country. According to Central Bank's latest supervision report, KCB emerged top, followed by Corp Bank, with Equity Bank taking third position. KCB Bank leads with a market share index of 14.4%, followed by Corp Bank on 9.93%. Equity is on 9.85%, closely behind. Stanchart is fourth on 7.11%. DTB has 6.72% of the market share with Barclays on 6.57%. CBA, Commercial Bank of Africa, 6.05% of the market share. And Stanbic having 5.62% to close the Tier 1 group. Tonight, the veil has been lifted over the safety of what Kenyans consume, from the contraband sugar to the alleged poisonous rice. Our industry, trade and cooperatives cabinet secretary, Peter Munya, says that a section of goods that were nabbed during surveillance operations did not meet the required standards, but has ruled out the presence of heavy metal in the imported sugar. KTN's Abu Bakar Abdullahi explains. The bittersweet sugar that divided parliament and sent shockwaves across the country may hang around for more days as almost 400,000 bags of the sugar that were nabbed did not meet standards. Despite trade and industry cabinet secretary ruling out the presence of heavy metals in the imported sugar. Samples were also tested for the following heavy metals, mercury, arsenic, lead and copper. CAPS did not detect any non-conformity with regard to these heavy metals in any of the samples tested so far. The bulk of the seized sugar, totaling up to 1,717,334 bags, belongs to companies that had allegedly secured prior authorization for importation of sugar. And before the sugar debacle settles, authorities have seized nearly 300 bags of rice in Nairobi and Mombasa, raising alarm over unsafe rice that could have been imported. Earlier reports indicated that close to a million bags of poisonous rice were nabbed in the coastal city of Mombasa. CAPS and the Mutingency Committee, committee team acting on intelligence seized 108 bags in Nairobi and 200 bags in Mombasa. Even as concern grows over the safety of products imported into the country, Munya says there will be no government-to-government -government discussions over the imported products from the country of origins. Those who imported and, and these products are not imported by government. So it's not a government-to-government -government negotiation. These products are imported by individuals who are in trading. Mm. So the issue of the government of Malaysia or government of Kenya does not arise. As Kenyans remain in the dark over products they consume, Abu Bakr Abdullahi for KTN News. CS Peter Munya's agriculture counterpart Mwangi Kiyunjuri has pledged to ensure tea farmers across the country access cheap fertilizer and streamline government taxes placed on tea products. <laughs> Abai meekwa juu ya machani, ya majani shai. Na ayote mimi ndarudi na lobby, nitaedelea kuhakikisha kwamba tunapabana na hii bei ya majani shai. Na kwa hivyo tutayangaria kama serikali. Manake mapato mingi, hata ya serikali, foreign income, tunapata kutoka kwa majani, kahawa na mimea ya ina hiyo. Iri tuweze kuwasaidia, iri hata serikali kipata foreign exchange, Na nyinyi mnacheka mkiingia ndani ya bank. Na hiyo ndio inatakikana. Si ndio hiyo? Iwe na mna hiyo. Kwa hivyo tutaangalia. Lakini ya muhimu saidi, vile tunaendelea na ukulima wa majani. Mkumbuke kwamba kuna hii majani tunaita papo tea. Na papo tea iko na bei mzuri sana kwenye soko za nje. Na kwa hivyo wakati mnapanda tuelekea hiyo mwenendo pia. Ili tupate papo tea Na iko na besa ya kutosha. Let's stay in agriculture, shall we? And the downfall of Kenya's oldest sugar company, Mumia Sugar, continues to cause an ease among employees. The board of directors has given a directive that employees go on unpaid leave for three months while plan, plans for reviving operations continue. Francis Wangala, secretary of the Kenya Sugar Cane Workers Union, has raised his objections to this move. 
my take is that I will not support that such an idea. I will not endorse such an idea. And I will not sit with the management of Mia's Sugar Company to discuss an idea of sending employees to go home on unpaid leave for three months.